everyone and welcome to Little Village for our last instalment of It's a Party! Over the past three weeks we've learned how much Jesus loves everybody. He loves everyone no matter who they are, no matter where they live and also he loves everyone no matter what they've done, good or bad. And this week we're going to be learning something slightly different. We're going to be learning how Jesus has a special task for each of us to do. But before we get onto that, let's stand and sing together and dance for the last time to our song, Everyone Everywhere. This is our way of being able to thank God for his love and for the way that he loves us, but also how he asks us to love other people. So up on your feet, it is time to dance. Job, everyone well done now when I ask who does Jesus love I want you to shout back Jesus loves everyone okay so here we go one two three who does Jesus love yeah Jesus loves everyone and great shouting now I want you to do it again but this time I want you to be so loud that they can hear you all the way across, either on the other side of your house or on the other side of the car park. So, who does Jesus love? Yeah, Jesus loves everyone. And you know what? He wants us to love everyone too. In fact, our memory verse for this month tells us exactly that. So let's go over it one last time together before we head over to Ollie and his friends to hear today's true story from the Bible. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. 
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Zoe. I'm so excited for the party we're having today. Yay! Today at the park, I met this really cool girl, and I let her go in front of me on the slide. Then I invited her to the party. And yesterday, I saw Miss Kathy Sue, so I invited her to the party. I know chocolate is her favorite flavor, so I made some super special chocolate cupcakes with chocolate frosting. Mm. Yummy. And today at school, I saw one of my friends wearing a super cool jacket. I told her I loved it, and then I invited her to the party. So, I got some special streamers to match her jacket. Woo! Where should I put these? Ooh, ooh. It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ooh, ooh. Doing things for your friends, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Helping others shows love. It's true. There are more ways to show love, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. I'm Luis the Handyman. There. Now it should work. My Aunt Sheila is coming home from the hospital after she broke her hip. And I thought she could use one of these reach or grabber things. <laughs> See? You drop something. And you don't need to bend down to get it. The reach or grabber will get it for you. Ta-da! <laughs> I think this will really help her. And it reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <gasps> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. All month long, we've been talking about how Jesus loves everyone, and that if he had a party, everyone would be invited. Grown-ups. Children. Everyone can celebrate that Jesus loves them, because Jesus loves everyone. And Jesus wants us to love everyone too. In fact, he said, do everything in love. Can you say that with me? Ready? Do everything in love. Oh, wow. Everything? Let's think about that. Let's say you're at the grocery store and the checkout worker seems like he had a sad day. You're done with your groceries and you are just about to leave. What could you do to show love? Try this. Can you smile and wave? Bye, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. Look, he's smiling and waving back. You showed him love by being kind. Great job. Okay, let's try this one. Your brother runs into the kitchen and really wants a cookie. But 
You have the last one. He's upset that he did not get a cookie. What could you do to show love? Try this. Do you want some? You did it! Sharing the cookie made your brother feel loved. Great job! Okay, what about this one? You and your friend are playing in the sandbox at the park. You are having so much fun together. But you look over and... There's a kid who's all alone by the slide. They don't have a friend to play with. What could you do to show love? Yell it out! Yes! You could ask them to play! Hey! Do you want to play with us? See? You are great at doing everything in love. Whether you're on the playground, or at a dance class, or at school, or at home with your family. You can do what Jesus said and do everything in love. So, let's celebrate because Jesus loves everyone! Woo! <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves everyone? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loves everyone, and we can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh, ooh. Wow, Jesus said to do everything in love, and I know we can. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I can't wait for the party. I'll see you next time. Bye! Everyone can celebrate that Jesus loves them because Jesus loves everyone no matter who they are and no matter how old. And Jesus tells us that we can do everything in love, no matter how old or who we are. We can smile and wave and cheer people up. We can be kind with our words and what we do. We can share the things that we have with other people to make them feel better. And we can invite other people to play with us too. Jesus loves everyone and he asks everyone to love each other too. He asks us to do everything in love. It's been a great month learning that Jesus loves us and that he wants us to be his friends. Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for loving each of us, no matter who we are, no matter where we come from, no matter how different we are, all the same, no matter where we live or no matter how old or young we are or what we've done. Thank you, Lord, that you love us. And that's an amazing thing. So thank you so much for that. Help us to love other people, to do everything in love, to be kind, to share, to use kind words, to help other people to be generous. Lord, thank you for who you are and we want you to be our friend. Amen. Brilliant, guys. If over these past few weeks you've asked Jesus to be your friend or perhaps you want Jesus to be your friend now, then share that with either one of your leaders in the red t-shirts or share it with perhaps your mum and your dad. We love to hear when people have asked Jesus to be their friend because we think it's the most amazing thing in the entire world and we think it's worth celebrating and we want to celebrate that with you if you've asked Jesus to be your friend this month. So let us know if perhaps you've asked him to be your friend, whether it's today or in one of the previous weeks. Now next week we'll be kickstarting a brand new series and it's a series called Put on your shoes, where perhaps we're going to learn how everyone can be friends with Jesus. So if you're in the room, you're going to be going on doing craft. 
But if not, then we'll see you next week for that brand new series. Put on your shoes.